Our new topic for today is source transformation. So, maliban dun sa Y delta delta Y transformation na ginagamit natin to simplify complex circuits, we have a new tool which is source transformation. Source transformation is a process of replacing a voltage source V sub S in series with a resistor R by a current source I sub S in parallel with a resistance R or vice versa. So, for example, meron tayong circuit na ang given ay V sub S tapos naka-series yung resistor R. So, pwede natin siyang i-convert into a current source circuit na naka-parallel yung R by using ohms to. So, since V sub S is equal to I sub S times R, we can get the current source equivalent ng V sub S by Ohm's law. So, yun ay I sub S equals V sub S over R. So, kung um, baligtad naman yung given na current source with parallel resistance R, i-convert natin siya sa V sub S with series R, um, Ang equation natin is V sub S equals I sub S multiplied by R. So, to demonstrate um, the source transformation tool, uh, solve natin yung problem number 1. Problem number 1. Use source transformation to find V sub O in the circuit. So, given this circuit, meron tayong parallel circuit. So, you can start pwedeng dito sa 3 ampere current source na nakaparal yung 4, ampere, uh, 4 ohm resistor or dito sa um, right side ng ating circuit pwedeng ang isisimplify natin or transform natin ay yung 12 volts na voltage source na series kay 3 ohm resistor so kung ako magsusob, start muna tayo dito sa left side uh, we can simplify or transform yung ating current source into V sub S. Ito, umpisahan muna natin dito. Okay, so V sub S is equal to 4 times 3, so that is 12 volts. So, papalitan natin ito ng V sub S na naka-series yung ating 4 ohm resistor. Pero draw natin yung circuit. Ayan, so papalitan natin siya ng V sub S. V sub S which is ito magiging 12 12 volts tapos naka series ngayon yung ating 4 ohm resistor tapos kung um, na omit na to uh, isusunod na natin yung 2 ohm resistor na naka parallel C8 and then ito yung unknown V sub O yung voltage drop sa 8 Tapos, i-redraw lang yung 3 at saka yung 12 volt source. Okay, take note dun sa uh, direction ng current source natin. If ang positive terminal, susundan niya yung uh, head ng arrow. So, balik na dapat ito. So, kung ang bababa, nasa baba yung head ng arrow, so negative positive yung magiging terminal ng ating P sub S. Okay. After <clears throat> ito, pwede nating i-convert ulit si 12 volt uh, V sub S into parallel uh, or current source. So, itong 4 at saka 2, pwedeng i-add na natin to 6. So, meron tayong circuit na Okay. Ayan. So, ito si 8. Positive, negative. P sub O. And then, kopyahin lang ulit si 12. Series kay 3. Tapos, si 4 and 6, add na natin para mas uh, mas simplify yung circuit. And then, si V sub S. Negative, positive, 12 volts. Ayan. So, itong 12 uh, voltage source na series K6, convert natin uli sa actually pwede nang isolve to yun, pero anyway, convert uli natin siya 
to parallel source. So, using Ohm's law ulit, P sub S or I is equal to in 12 over 6. So, that is 2 ampere. Okay. 2 ampere. So, ito mag magiging 2 ampere na naka-parallel kay 6. 6 ohm. This is star. Ayan. Uh, direction ng current source, pababa uli. 2 ampere. Tapos, isi-series. Isi-series si 6. Tapos, andun pa rin si ah, uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Ayan. So, downward, 2 ampere current source na nakaparallel kay 6 ohm resistor. Tapos, isusunod si 8. 8 ohm resistor. Nandito yung voltage trap, P sub O. And then, ito, itong 12 volt source ng series K3, pwede din natin convert So, V is equal, eh, I is equal to um, 12 divided by 3, so 4 ampere. Ipaparalel natin si 3 ohm dun sa source na 4 ampere. Current source, ayan. <clears throat> Pwede natin pagsamahin si 2 ampere current source at saka si 4 ampere current source. So, kung magnanood tayo, uh, that is equivalent to 4 minus 2 ampere. Uh, take note, kapag ang circuit natin ay ganito kasimple, puro mga branch uh, element, so wala tayong mga element dun sa horizontal branch, pwede natin i- i-redraw yung circuit natin or i ano yun? ipagbalibaliktad yung mga branches. Let's say, for example, lalagay natin dito si uh, 2 ampere current source. Tapos, isusunod natin si 4. Tapos, si 6. Ohm resistor. 3, pwede yun. Kasi, siya rin naman. Kung i-connect mo yung circuit, in actual, uh, same connection din siya. So, meron ka lang ng line dyan and then ikukunok mo yung mga ano. Basta, walang mga resistor dito sa gitna ng dalawang parallel branch natin. Kapag ganun, uh, hindi pwedeng gawin yung ginagawa natin. So, 4 minus 2 ampere. So, 2. Susundan natin yung mas malaking value ng current source. So, kapag isa-simplify natin itong dalawang source natin, pwede dito na lang natin lagay. So, 2 ampere. And then, pwede natin i-combine si 6 at saka si 3 ohm resistor. So, our equivalent is equal to 6 parallel kay 3. So, 6 times 3, 6 plus 3. So, equivalent yun sa 2, um, 2 ohms. Ayan. So, ito 2 ohms. Ayan. Pinag-combine natin itong dalawang parallel na yan. Hindi natin pwedeng combine si 8 ohm resistor sa 2 kasi na, sa kanya manggagaling yung sagot natin, yung unknown, which is yung voltage trap across sa 8 ohm resistor. Ay. So, positive negative V sub O, ito yung unknown, and then meron kang 8 ohm resistor. Ayan, pwede na natin isolve yung voltage trap. Kailangan lang natin malaman yung current na dadaan kay 8 ohm resistor. Ay, okay. Pwede natin gamitin yung current divider principle. Kasi meron kang 2 ampere current source, tapos meron kang dalawang parallel na uh, resistance, so current divider ka na lang. I is equal to, kung ang hinahanap natin yung current, through 8 ohms, so yung nasa numerator natin ay yung nasa kabilang resistor, resistance. 
So, 2 tapos 8 is 2 times yung total current. So, I is 0.4 ampere. And then, V sub O is equal to 8 times I. So, 8 times here, 0.4 ampere. So, V sub O is equivalent to... Let me write that here. So, V sub O is equal to 8 times I. 8 times 0.4. So, that is equivalent to 3.2 volts. So, that is our answer for number one. Um, if uh, hindi nyo na gustong i-simplify pa yung circuit at this point, itong after nyo kinonvert yung 3 ampere current source to voltage source, kasi dito pwede ka nang mag-mesh. Dito sa part na to, pwede ka nang mag-mesh dito and then mag -no nodal ka para makuha yung current sa... 8 ohm resistor. So, meron ko parang dalawang step. Pero, kung isi-simplify mo yung circuit mo up to this, dito sa equivalent circuit na to, mas madali lang. Current divider lang, bit lang, and uh, fault, uh, ohms 